Susie's the best fitness influencer. Susie's the best fitness influencer. She's got the best recipe. Who eats the best food? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie, it's nice to meet ya. We are finally doing another fitness video. In this video, I'm going to be working out and eating like the most famous fitness influencers. I got this idea from Linda Sun on YouTube, love her video, so all credits go to her. And this is gonna be an educational video as well. I'm gonna be rating all of the YouTuber workouts from hardest to least hard. I'm also gonna be rating my favorite workouts to least favorite. And of course I'm gonna be rating what they eat because I'm a girl who loves to eat and I have some pretty high standards when it comes to food. But just remember this video is a little bit of fun. If my favorite YouTuber is not your favorite or my least favorite is someone you absolutely love, it is all personal preference. And just like Linda said, I think it is awesome that these people are putting out this content on YouTube for free for people to start their fitness journeys. A little bit about me, I love weights. I do weight training in the gym almost three to five times a week. And it is my preferred form of exercise. I am not a cardio girly. So please take my opinions with a grain of salt. I am in no way trying to put any of these YouTubers down. I would say I'm probably an intermediate when it comes to exercise. I definitely would not consider myself an expert and I'm not a beginner either. So yes, this is gonna be my raw, uncut, sweaty review of all these fitness YouTubers. Without further ado, let's get into it. Good morning guys, it's day one and today we are doing the infamous Blogilates, AKA Cassie Ho. Cassie has a whopping 7.17 million subscribers and she is one of the true OGs of YouTube. She uploaded her first Pilates workout video 12 years ago. First things first, I needed to go get the groceries. So here is me awkwardly filming myself in the grocery store. Look at me just adulting. She is a healthy queen buying lettuce. Also took me about 30 minutes to find the button up pumpkin, but we made it. So as always, all of the gym outfits I'm gonna be wearing in this video are from Gymshark. My loves, my life. You guys know I love Gymshark and they have kindly partnered with me on this video so I can show you some of the new ranges that they came out with. So when you see me wearing these outfits in the video, I'll put the name of them and I will also have all of the links in the description box. And those are affiliate links. So I do get a small commission. I would really appreciate if you use them. First of all, they came out with their Vital Neutrals colors. I've got the color Fawn in this, but I'm obsessed with the new colors. They are all like skin tones. Also this Adapt Animal, you will see me wearing this later on in the video, but it literally has a lace back. Like how freaking cool is that? And I got a couple of new track sets from them recently. I have this like orangey color and the blue one that I'm wearing right now. They are so oversized and comfy. And this crew neck is actually really nice just to wear with a pair of jeans. I wore it out to a cafe the other day and I get a size large in everything if you're wondering. Okay, let's get back to the video. So I decided to follow Cassie's what I eat in a day photo shoot prep video and she started the day with lemon water, which is always a red flag for me and what I eat in a days. As we can tell, I didn't really enjoy it, but we move on. For breakfast, she had an egg white omelet with a bunch of onions and veg in it and a salad on the side and some air fryer button up pumpkin as well. To be fair in the video, she did say that she was eating cleaner because of her photo shoot prep. So I really bit myself in the ass with choosing this video to follow. Yes. And here is my Blogilates breakfast. Mmm, so yummy. <laughs> and on top, she likes to put some sriracha. So spicy. <laughs> it actually doesn't taste that bad, but that could be because I am starving right now. A little bit of salad. Tastes like lettuce. I'd rate this breakfast a five out of 10. And that's being nice. Now it is time to work out. Check the fit, check her out and look at this. Boom, lace back. So let's get into it. So my aim was to do 45 minutes of exercise each day. So I did three Blogilates workouts. This first one was a very cardio based workout, which I told you guys earlier, I do not enjoy. Yeah. I would say most of the moves were pretty easy to follow, but there was a couple where I was really struggling with balance. I'm so glad that's over. Then it was time for the total body tone, which was a bit more of a mixture of weights and cardio. All right, keep going. Now I would be lying if I said this workout didn't 
absolutely ripped me a new one. Afterwards, my lungs were left feeling like I had chain smoked a pack a day for the last 90 years. This is the most cardio I've done in like the last year. Now the aim of this workout is to not drop your arms the entire time. I am not dropping my arms once. One minute, 37 seconds later. I wanna put my arms down. Mm. Oh, I did it, oh crap, I put my arms down. I really thought this workout was gonna be my saving grace because I love sitting on the floor, but I was completely mistaken. Please Jesus, let me get through this workout. My arms were burning even more than the toilet break I took after that sriracha sauce this morning. Ow! Ow! Ow. <laughs> Third move. just been assaulted. My final thoughts on the Globalati's workouts. I am so glad we're done, but I do really enjoy that she was talking the whole time. It made it so much more interesting. Then for a snack, she has a white nectarine, but they're not in season, so I'm just gonna have an apple. Mm, this is a delicious apple. For dinner, Cassie had a chicken stir fry with cauliflower rice, I used tofu, and also edamame beans. We're just having Blogilates dinner, and that is cauliflower rice. No, 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 you're not supposed to. You're supposed to get the beans out and spit ah. the. <laughs> well, I've eaten it now. It takes a while to eat it. Yeah, because you're not supposed to eat it. I think it could use more flavor. No, I like it. Without. I feel very healthy. Then for a snack, she had some chips and guac, and overall, I gave the Blogilates food a five out of 10. Morning guys. Today we are doing Mad Fit. She is most famous for her dancing workouts. But for breakfast she has avocado toast with a side of scrambled eggs and some berries as well. She also has a chai tea. Your girl needs a coffee right now. So I'm gonna make a dirty chai. <laughs> Two shots of espresso. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. So this is Mad Fit's breakfast. This actually looks right up my alley. It looks delicious. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go crazy and put some of the scrambled eggs on the avocado toast. Didn't expect that one, did ya? <laughs> Now it is workout time, baby. Now I do want to say I love that she actually uses like famous songs by popular artists rather than using copyright free music because I think it's going to be way more fun. Oh, I forgot to say, here's the outfit wearing new Gymshark Vital. I love this set. I think it's such a cute color and they come in all of these skin tone colors. I'm getting broke joke flashbacks. I started with her 2000s dance party workout. It took me a second to get into the rhythm. Oh my God. But once I got into it, I was literally having the time of my life. I was channeling my inner JLo. I thought the dance moves were so sassy and fun and the music choice was elite. A -N -A -N -A -S for show. I didn't get all of the dance moves perfect, but I didn't take any breaks because I was having so much fun. I didn't even notice how much cardio I was doing. I even started adding my own Susie Spice to the dance moves. We're going for a bit more of a lyrical feel with Taylor Swift all too well. I'm obviously gonna get copyrighted for the music, but don't worry, I'll take the stage. Is this thing on? <clears throat> I walked through the door with you. The air was cold, but some amount it felt like home somehow. And I do break me like a promise. This is my favorite line. Casually cool in the I enjoyed the faster paced dances more than the lyrical ones. We did abs now and I was so puffed I had to take heaps of breaks. Finished off strong with a booty band exercise and I was literally heaving by this point. <laughs> Okay, that was so fun. I really enjoyed those workouts, especially the dance workouts. Like, I completely understand why she's got such a good following for her dance workouts. And I will definitely be doing Mad Fit's workouts again. For a post-workout snack, she has a blueberry, banana, and protein powder smoothie, and it was delicious. Now I'm just doing some editing and I'm having Mad Fit's lunch, which is corn chips and canned lentil soup. That's not bad. For a tin soup, that is pretty good. It does kind of look like vomit though. And dinner was a turkey teriyaki bowl with white rice. I used a plant-based mince instead. Oh 
my god, that is really good. That's so much better. That's so much better than I was expecting. Bon appetit. Good morning, guys. Today we are doing the woman, the myth, the legend, that's right, Chloe Ting. I have a very special place in my heart for Chloe because her workout challenge was the thing that really made my channel blow up. And I am starting my workout before breakfast and that may or may not be because I had an almond croissant. Don't pee. Most of Chloe's workouts are cardio based, which you'll see later resulted in my demise. These workouts were super easy to follow. It was quite fast paced and I did feel my lungs burning towards the end. There was a lot of similar movements that I remember from the last workout challenge that I did with Chloe Ting. Look. What I just, look at the sweat. Then I tried her weight loss hit workout, which was one of the biggest mistakes in my life I've ever made. I spent most of the time gasping for air. <sighs> I need my ass. <sighs> there was so much jumping and I basically spent every minute wishing it would end. I was seeing stars. I literally had to check my pulse. I'm alive. I don't think I enjoyed that. I was absolutely wrecked, but I still had to do another workout. I will say I don't love the terminology she uses in her workout titles, like flat stomach, weight loss. It just seems a little outdated to me. I took so many breaks. Oh good, no rest. I don't want any, anyway. And then the worst thing came, plank jacks. <laughs> I'm a million degrees. Can't say I'll be doing high intensity interval training again. <sighs> I think my pre-workout's coming back up. Ahoy there. It is breakfast time. I'm wearing my new Gymshark sweat set. How cute is this? Mum just complimented it, said she wanted one of her own. I've been wearing these all the time though. They are so comfy. We're going to make her smoothie bowl. Something that I really like is Chloe has a website where she has all of these free recipes. Tasty. If I could be bothered, I would probably make smoothie bowls a lot for breakfast. For dinner, I made Chloe's cauliflower pizza. It had butternut pumpkin on it, capsicum, tomato, and burrata cheese. I added some fresh basil on top, and this was so yum. Probably the best homemade pizza I've ever made. Now for dessert, I'm having Chloe's strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. I've never tasted overnight oats before, so this will be interesting. I went to blow on it. <laughs> Very creamy. It is pretty nice. Like I really like chia pudding and it kind of reminds me of that. I think if I was to have it again, I might add a little bit more sweetener because it's not that sweet. Good morning, star shines. Today we're doing the wonderful Whitney Simmons and I'm gonna follow everything I eat in a day, healthy meal and snack ideas. So for breakfast, she has an egg bagel with bacon and avocado. So I did get some plant-based bacon and we're gonna make this real quick and I am so excited. like my dream breakfast though. This is a breakfast I know I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy. Oh my god. 10 out of 10 for this breakfast. I would give it an 11 out of 10 if I could. Whitney's post-workout snack, avocado on toast with tomato and feta. So I need to quickly inhale this because I'm running late for a doctor's appointment. Oh. Mm. I feel like Whitney and I have very similar taste buds. It's a lot like things that I would choose to make myself. Delish. I'm back from the doctor now and I'm about to do the Whitney workout. And I thought it was only fitting that I wear the Whitney Simmons Gymshark collection. The Whitney Simmons collection is like one of my 
absolute all-time faves. Chocolatey goodness. Whitney doesn't have many workouts on her YouTube channel. She has a few, but I saw that most of her workouts are on her app Alive. So I thought for a change, we try her app instead. The app gave me a leg workout to do and I liked that it had the full warm up included. I thought I was supposed to be going for the whole time that she's going. It's a looped video. I was only supposed to do 12 reps. I just did like 50. <laughs> Other than my technical difficulty, I did find the app really easy to follow. It was form focused weight training, which meant I was in my element because that's what I do at the gym, but I almost found it too slow paced. I actually skipped some of the rest because I felt like I didn't need them, but it meant I was able to go really heavy in weights, which was something I really enjoyed. Just thought I'd do a sweat check. Looking lovely and moist. We're at 48 minutes. I do think overall that was a really good weight training workout. Now I'm just having Whitney's post-workout smoothie. Whitney is a woman after my own heart. This is delicious. For lunch, Whitney just had a taco bowl and she used beef mints. So I just used like a plant-based beef mints. I'm so excited to get right into it. Mm, this is really good. Whitney's dinner was chicken schnitzel with sweet potato mash and green beans. I just used a plant-based chicken schnitzel, added this honey Dijon dressing that she made, chucked it in the air fryer and bada bing, bada boom, delicious dinner. Oh my. I think I've fallen in love with Whitney Simmons. Today we are doing Natasha Ocean or Natasha Ocean. I'm not sure how to say it. And I'm going to be following her video that she just posted a couple weeks ago. I tracked what I eat in a week, listening to my body plus cravings. So for breakfast, she had matcha pancakes, which sounds delicious. And I'm pretty sure that I have some matcha somewhere in the cupboard. So we're going to get it out and make those. Here is breakfast, the matcha pancakes. They actually came together really nice considering they don't have any egg in them. And Natasha also had an iced latte, a woman after my own heart. <sighs> I also think I have a bigger stack of pancakes than she had, but you girl's hungry. Oh wow, the maple syrup is doing a lot of the work, but that grilled banana is delicious. Now we're gonna do Natasha Ocean's workouts. This is the fit for today. Uh, uh. These are like mid-rise, but they have the Gymshark logo all over them. And I love the color. And this jumper I've been wearing nonstop. I think it has a stain on it, but I wouldn't love it if it didn't have a stain on it. <laughs> I did Natasha's dumbbell only workout and it went straight into this burpee with dumbbell situation. And I instantly was thinking, oh God, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Time to think this might be a bit advanced for me. It was one of the most intense workouts I've ever done. She just said she's gonna sprinkle in some advanced moves. Was that not advanced? But at the same time, I found myself enjoying it. The cooch sweat is a happening. It wasn't a talk through video. Natasha would demonstrate the workouts and then tell you how many times to do them. Every time she did a workout, I looked at it and I thought I could not do that. But then I found myself doing things I didn't even know my body was capable of. 11, 101, 102. She also did a great job of explaining each workout thoroughly. I don't know what had come over me. I felt like I had been possessed by an Olympic athlete. I'm done. I think this may be the sweatiest I've been this whole week. Yeah, I think it is. That took me like an hour and a half to get that thing done. I probably could have taken less time because I was taking quite big breaks in between, but that was like a 10 out of 10 dumbbell workout. A couple of the exercises were super hard. I highly enjoyed that. I am feeling so proud right now. Jesus Christ, I'm surprised that I got that whole thing done. 
For lunch, I just had this tuna salad situation that Natasha's boyfriend made for her. To be honest, I don't love tuna salad, but I was so lazy I couldn't be bothered making any of the other recipes in the video. It had like this miso paste dressing on top and I was not a fan. But I'm not holding it against Natasha, I'm holding it against her boyfriend. It was all made better with these fish tacos we had for dinner. Oh my God, I love fish tacos. These were so good. And that was the last day of the challenge. Okay, I know I didn't do an entire week, but it was a working week. A week just had a bit more of a ring to it, you know? So of course now it is time for the results. So we're gonna start with the recipes, the what I eat in a days. And for number one, my absolute favorite was Whitney Simmons. I just think she has such a similar taste to me in her foods. A lot of the things she was eating was things that I would already make myself. And oh my God, that shake, that almond butter shake was just mwah. Now for hardness, number one is 100% Natasha. My shoulders are still burning. That workout took me the longest. It took me more than an hour. Number two, I would say was Chloe. She's very high intensity, a lot of cardio, and I found it very hard. <laughs> now for the big one, my favorites. So number one is, da -da 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 -da, drum roll please. Natasha. It was so daunting, so hard, but the way I felt after made it all worth it. I also just love her all round as a YouTuber. I love that she promotes intuitive eating and she promotes science-based facts on diet and exercise. Now, number two might surprise you guys because it is cardio and that is mad fit. The dance moves are so fun. Like you guys saw, I was smiling the whole time and I just had the time of my life. And number five, don't kill me. I'm sorry, Chloe. I feel really bad about doing this, but she just does so much cardio. I just remember that day enjoying that workout the least. I mean, you guys know that I did that whole two week shred challenge and I do think her workouts are really effective, but I really enjoyed doing this week. I feel like I've been stuck in the same routine and it was so fun trying a few different things and also discovering new fitness YouTubers that I've never tried before. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. I have a bunch of new fitness videos coming out. I'm getting back into it and I'm so excited for it. Or if you have any more suggestions on what you want me to do for a fitness video, please leave it down below as well. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.